10 to 20 minutes is not a big deal to render a still image. But when it comes to movie, if it takes 20 minutes to render one frame for a 10 minutes movie, that doesn't work for a one man army. Recently, I worked on my short film project in Blender 3D program. If you want to see it, links in the description. I have struggled with render time during rendering. It took me hundreds of hours to render. I have seen many tutorials for faster rendering, but they didn't work for me. Don't get me wrong guys, because I am not rendering for a still image. I am rendering for a short film that has many shots. So that method didn't work for my project. Even my PC is not a beast to render fast. My PC configuration is CPU, Intel i9, 9900K, GPU, Nvidia GeForce RTX 2078GB and RAM 32GB. This is my PC configuration guys. After a lot of research about rendering, I have started my quest for faster rendering. I did rendering tests by enabling and disabling each option in the rendering settings. Finally, my random efforts paid off. I will show you the methods that I used for rendering with a few clicks. Look at this scene guys. It's not a small scene, it's a huge scene. We are going to test our renders in this scene. I have rendered my short movie in 4K UHD. So now let's do a render test in 4K UHD. First, let's set the render settings to default mode. Now let's do a render test on default render settings. See this render time guys, it's a huge amount of time. We can't spend this much time on a short film. Now I will show you step by step how I rendered. Trust me guys, this tip will help you a lot. Okay, go to edit, preferences and select your GPU, optics, don't select GPU and CPU both, select only GPU and then go to render properties, cycles, supported, GPU compute and then noise threshold is 0.08 and samples 1024. After that come to denoise, denoiser, select optics, passes, let it be the default settings. After that go to light paths. Yes, I will tell you about this lights option after this settings. Under light path settings, select fast global illumination. I know, everything I have said so far, you already know about this. There is nothing new about it. But here is a trick that I wanna show you guys. The light tree feature introduced in Blender 3.5. When I disabled this light tree option, and then my render time decreased beyond my expectation. Fifty percent of my short film was rendered when the light tree option was default settings, meaning it's on. When I tried with the light tree option disabled, the render time was reduced a lot. After that, I disabled the light tree option for all other scene renderings. For me, enabling the light tree option didn't make huge difference in quality, but disabling the light tree option did reduce render time significantly. I think the light tree option works great for still images, but I didn't notice any great differences in the movie. That's it guys, if you find this video useful, please smash the like button so that this video reaches more people. Please do not hesitate to correct me if I have given any wrong information. Thank you, that's it and salam.